Template number two for your ultra course view. Template number two is part of three templates that we can provide to instructors uh, that want to use the ultra course view. They come pre-built and pre-loaded with not only example content, but also helpful how-tos to get you going. So without further ado, we'll start by talking about the helpful content and we'll look at how this particular template is broken down organizationally. So remember, we are on the Ultra Course View, which is a different animal than the original Course View. We do highly suggest that you sign up for the Ultra, uh, introducing Ultra Base Nav and Ultra Course View webinars so that you can learn a little bit more about how, they, how the Ultra Course works and how the Ultra Base Navigation works. That being said, let's get started. So you will notice that the top of this particular course content area is a Course How Toolkit. The Course How Toolkit comes preloaded with helpful information for instructors that will help get you started when it comes to getting content in your course. For starters, how you get text and images and content in your course in the first place. From adding documents, and each one of these little uh, links here actually contains further links to more content. So for instance, when the document is the essentially the building block of Ultra Course View courses. Uh, think of it as the, the old item inside the original course, the item. And now there's the document. In each one of these little areas, there will be links to further information. For example, in terms of the new text editor, there's more information on how to work within it, as well as more on how to add documents inside your Ultra Courses. Note that you can uh, bring in content from the cloud, from the content system, uh, as well as just uploading files, attaching files, and using that document tool. Uh, you can also learn how to embed images. After that, we cover communication tools, how to add announcements, course messages, journals, discussions, and developing successful discussions, as well as how to do conversations, another new engaging communication tool in the Ultra Course View. After that, uh, how to add gradable activities. In this instance, uh, what are those gradable activities? When I click here, it actually breaks them down, um, what those things are. And it talks about how the basic grade board, uh, Blackboard gradable activities are tests, assignments, discussions, and journals. However, there are other things that I can bring in from other vendors. For instance, VoiceThread assignments, Kaltura video quizzes, Turnitin assignments, and publisher assignments activity, as well as LinkedIn learning. Uh, from that, that being said, I can add all of these wonderful tools via these, this me the method here that is shown in the menu. And we cover this here inside the graded activities area. Beyond that, we break down individually how to add a test, how to add an assignment, how to add a discussion, and how to add a journal. After that, we talk about how you can navigate grading, the new grade book, the course grade book, what the global course grades page looks like, how to open grade book prop, uh, items, how to check your progress in grading student work, how to manage graded work, how to add calculations and add new grade book items. Beyond that, the old familiar, the student grid, which looks a little bit more like the uh, traditional Blackboard Grade Center. At the bottom of the page of this particular learning module, the Course How Toolkit, is the How to Help section. This particular, particular area encapsulates a lot of what we just talked through, but in a general way so that I can get quick access. For instance, a quick start guide for instructors, how I can create announcements, how I can add a course image for a banner, how to add course content, how to do the student preview, accommodations, gradebook and ultra, creating tests, all in like a centralized area. And then more ultra how-to for more things that you can learn about. So that is your course how toolkit. Let's talk about the, the how we navigate within uh, this particular template, this being the second template of the course design templates in the ultra course view. In particular, this design template actually shows a little simpler uh, uh, navigation than the others. It's a little less nested than it was in, in the first template. You'll recall template number one was more traditional and that it looked a little bit like it did in the original format. In this particular template, we leave everything as you can get to it in a, on the main content page. For instance, here you have the course information section where you might have a video introduction. You might have a welcome to the course introduction. You might have a course syllabus, you might have a virtual office discussion forum, 24-7 support desk, and fun stuff like that. 
After that, there's the modules, right? Module one, module two, module three. I could provide uh, information on how to uh, break down and go through each of these modules. So notice that there isn't a modules area and then these modules within it. These modules are actually on the main course content page. The downside here is that the student could scroll to see more modules, but you could still do things to make the modules come available when you want to and have them show up in reverse order. So the newest module would always be on top. But in particular, were I to click on module one, you would see here that all of the content within module one shows up there, right? Same thing for module two and then module three. And students work their way through them we will use the student preview to see this. Students work their way through from through them in a linear fashion you can, that you can force if you want to, but that they can click through if, if you don't need to. So as a student, I would click on module one, access module objectives, and start to work my way through the module. You will note here we have instructor notes along the way to help guide you in terms of how you might use a document and more information on documents again there. After that, the same content area where an example a uh, content example uh, within a learning module uh, in this particular one where you've got text you've got attachments i've got lists i've got embedded images and then links and more instructor notes where i to continue an embedded youtube video an example of a table of text and yet another file attachment note that i can right click through as a student and start viewing my assessments and jumping in and submitting my assignments. However, I'm not limited to that. I don't have to access the content that way because I didn't force it. So I could jump down to module quiz and then go to view assessment and it would pop the quiz open for me to go and answer the questions. So this is your second template course. Remember, I'm going to exit the preview. The courses here is a, is a way for you, a primer, a way for you to start building and developing. You can have access to three, one or all three of the template courses by reaching out to your instructional designer. You can also contact me, Jacob Spradlin. My email address is spradlin at shsu.edu, and we'll work to help you out in that regard. We hope that this video has been informative and that you can get a good start on starting to build content within your Ultra Course View course.